Hey, what is up, guys? Welcome back. So, welcome to another Monster Spotlight. Today, I have with me Game More and his Dark Mona. Um, this is actually a very special Dark Mona. This isn't this is this isn't your ordinary Dark Mona. Uh, he wanted to he wanted to spotlight this monster because his Dark Mona does not have a square slot, but he did manage to get pretty high crit rate on this monster. Um, so it it does have does actually have quite quite a lot of crit. Um, this is twenty two percent here. 20% here and 27.5% uh, here. So altogether, his Dark Mona has 79.5% crit on on this monster, which is really really high. And with the with the help of a crit leader, um, I'm gonna put in my my Wood Anu, who has a 20% crit. He she now has a 99% crit, 99.5% crit. Uh, so we're gonna test her out, test her test out her damage. A, a Dark Mona gemmed on triple attack and and um, near 100% crit. We're gonna see how how high this how or how hard this monster can actually hit. Uh, I'm gonna put in some put in some armor breakers and some uh, where can I where can I get some armor break? All right, Thor. We're gonna put in some armor breakers and then I'll put in a healer just in case anybody is in the danger in danger of dying. Um, I'll put in my Light Siren, so she takes the takes the hit and also can put up a shield for everyone. So that that should be pretty good. I'm sure a lot of you guys, if you guys were really old players, do actually have Dark Monas. My Dark Monas also don't have squares, but they're not as high crit rate as this one. This is this is actually pretty insane. Um, all right, let's let's try let's try this uh, this B over here. We're gonna we're gonna armor break it, and then we'll we'll hit it and see how much damage it does with the armor break, and then we'll see how much damage it does without. Actually, wait, we should actually no, it, it, it doesn't matter. I was thinking just to be safe, I should kill the Moonflower on turn one. Let's let's let, let's let's do this. All right, let's slow this down to one times. I think it should be three hits, 20k, 20k, 21k. So that's like 60, 61k on first skill with armor break. Right, let's take out, let's take care of this moonflower. All right, let's see how much damage she does without the armor break. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna hit the same B who who has the same stats as the the B we just hit, and we're gonna do it without the uh, the armor break. So that's 11k, 12k, 11k. So that's it's about 30, 30, 33k ish. Let's finish this off. Then we'll uh, we'll take care of this little little sparkler over here. Yeah, it's about it's about 33 k ish when she's when she's hitting a non armor broken target. Um, that's that's around the level of Golem Speed Ten. Imagine if you had a Fire Persephone leader, just run it with her, and then run a Dark Mono with a uh, with triple attack. That'd be pretty insane. All right, I want to see if the uh, if, uh, if this this AOE should probably be able to kill the whole entire wave. But to to test out the damage, I'm gonna armor break this uh, this minnow here, and then we'll. Uh, I think it should be enough damage to to completely kill the entire wave. Oh damn, the zoom the zoom up kind of kind of blocked the damage. Hmm, but we're not we're actually unable to kill the moonflower, which is a bit unfortunate. But we'll take care of them. So you might actually need a, another monster with AoE to make sure you always kill the Moonflowers. But the good thing is, since they added the Minotaurs on Golem Speed 10, there's less of a chance of the Moonflowers actually coming out. So you can actually get other monsters, you know, you can get monsters besides the Moonflower. And she, sh she should have enough damage on her AoE to kill anything. Um, that isn't a moonflower. Oh, 
Oh, look at this damage. It's like 62k on uh, on armor break. Let's hope the next time she AOEs, it doesn't it doesn't zoom in. The zoom in did actually actually mess me up a little. You know what be what would be really strong is if you had a Dark Mona on double attack HP, and you had her on a hundred percent crit, and you ran that for PVP, that would be insane. Like she would just she'd be able to tank a lot more. And she would deal the same amount of damage as a, as a Mo Mona that's like crit rate double HP. But you need pretty good gems to be able to pull that off. Alright, we'll save it. Save the AoE for the boss wave. Oh. Broke my... Broke my shield. 21, 20, 22, 22. Alright, let's try this. So I'm gonna break the boss, and then we're gonna nuke it with our with our AoE. That's one, two, three, four. So that's four hits of twenty about twenty-two K. So that's about 80 88 K. Um, on 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 her AOE with armor break. All right, we'll take care of this unit on the side. All right, let's have her hit the boss and see how much damage she does with her uh, with her first skill as well. Oh, it actually does quite does quite a lot. It does pretty much the same amount as if if, um, if it were hitting the wave. Interesting. Alright, let's actually let's wait for the armor break to fade and then we'll nuke the boss again with the AoE and see how much damage it does without the armor break. So please don't put attack down on me. Alright, we're good. Okay, let's uh let's let's do this AoE again, and then we'll see how much damage it does per hit. It's about 12k, so it's like four hits of tw four hits of uh 11, 12k. So I'll say it's 13k for or, or 23 for two hits. So that's so that's like uh damn, why is my math so bad? It's like 46k, 46k without armor break on her AoE. All right, let's uh let's just nuke the boss and then we'll let her do the honors of finishing him off. Actually, wait, I don't think I have enough damage to kill him this turn. Maybe we do. Let's one, two, three. Nope, not enough damage. Oh dang! Put defense down on me. Alright, time to end this. There we go. Alright, so... Um, yeah, that's that's pretty much it. Uh, moral of the story is you can, you can still make uh, dark monsters work without a square slot, but you will need very, very good gems, and you might also need a good uh, crit lead to do that. And imagine if she had the, the gems with the same sets on an intuition. Uh, she can actually... You can actually do some crazy, crazy shit with that. Now, I actually do have some high crit rate intuition gems, but unfortunately, they're all square, which is like, which is like the ultimate curse. You know, it's it's pretty it's pretty dumb. Like, if you take a look at uh, where is it? I think I think it's on my Gatito. Yeah, this. Like, I have a twenty-seven percent crit intuition attack gem, but it's a square slot, and it's that's that's actually pretty dumb. Um, and I also have some other other attack intuition gems that have like pretty high resistance or not resistance uh, crit rate as well that are also square. Like 
Like this one with 20.5% 20, 20 crit, but it's it's also a square one. So it's my curse. It's my curse right here. Um, I don't think I'll be able to gem a Mona like like he did his very anytime soon, but both my Dark Monas don't have any squares. So I just slap some random gems on them. They're not too good, but they're just triple attack as well. Um, but yeah, you can get some really, really high damage with a triple attack, um, you know, Dark Mona that has really, really high crit sub stats. But anyways, that's pretty much it. Um, thank you guys so much for watching this video, and thank you, thank you to Hero or no wait, um, thank you for Game More. I'm sorry. Uh, th thank you for 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 Game More for um, for sharing his Dark Mona with us. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.